Father, thanks for that. You're welcome. Uh, so, Adra, Red Hat and Nokia has been a partner for more than a decade. Yep. Right? We have a decade on partnership. Yep. And uh, so we just announced this awesome uh, engagement in June, right? In June 2023, actually. Yep. 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 Uh, where we're creating even tighter relationship between our core, our application layers, and Red Hat. So what do you think about uh, this uh, new environment? Well, look, I see this as a really exciting opportunity for both of us, for Red Hat especially. Uh, we see Nokia as one of the top two companies in telecommunication space with dominant market share in certain areas. Uh, we see this as a huge opportunity to collaborate with one of the leading players who's providing leading 5G technology into the customers for both core and RAM. And uh, with this core partnership, I think we're strengthening the overall relationship and the portfolio that we can offer with our Red Hat platform, cloud platform, especially with hybrid cloud, uh, combined with Nokia applications to our customers. What does the partnership mean for Nokia adults? And how do you see this from your point of view? Because you already had a reasonable market share, a reasonable customer mind share. Uh, so then why not hide from that question in that sense, right? That's, that's an amazing question. Yeah. So think about it. Uh, Nokia, we announced our any cloud strategy on stage two years back. Yeah. And it's the, we wanted to go in and say, guys, Nokia solutions works on anywhere. Uh -huh. Wait. What part is it? It's okay to say any cloud, right? Uh, that means it can work on AWS, can work on Google Cloud, can work on Microsoft, or not. OpenShift can work on it's an Oracle Cloud, can work on VMware, you name it. And yep. yep. so that is, all our customers have a hybrid environment. Right. Right. And when you have a hybrid environment, yes, you're any cloud, but any cloud basically means now making it work in these multiple cloud environments. Right. And each one of these clouds come up with their own nuances. Right. Right. And which basically means from an R and D fashion for us, it meant how do we ensure that our products actually work across all of these, takes care of all of these nuances and still performs and provides the same functionality. Right. Now we're application providers. Yep. We're not infrastructure providers. I mean that's the reason, that's one of the primary reasons we have this partnership now made on now this joke. And I think this partnership now helps us in focusing all our R&D activities on the slides, well, on our application list, here, here that we know best, mm -hmm. and leave the infrastructure part out to Red Hat. Mm -hmm. And when we put our solution on top of OpenShift, we can play in any hybrid layer, any hybrid environment, without having to worry about the individual devices of the various cloud providers. That brings a lot of benefit to our customers. That basically speeds up our deployment yep. and takes all the unknowns out of those deployments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's that's uh, a big plus that I see as we move forward and as we play with uh, and as we work with our customers and make this next together. What are you seeing from your customers and what are you hearing from us? Do they still see us as going Red Hat coming in with something and Nokia coming with something? Or do you see us going and doing something jointly or how do you see this play? The biggest opportunity that we see is the ability to not jointly go to the customer and say, Hey, look, here is the cloud abstraction layer for Red Hat platform. And just like you were describing how we can abstract these different multi-cloud environments to an open chip layer. We, I mean, the customer now really says, oh, here's my opportunity to unify those different components together with Red Hat as the infrastructure player and Nokia as the application provider. And so I don't see this as a Red Hat solution and a Nokia solution anymore. I see this as an opportunity to go to a one joint solution and in fact, join go to market. Um, I know since the partnership, I've already started talking to some of your uh, pre-sales terms. And it's been an amazing conversation that the amount of openness that I've seen from the Nokia team and the hunger for both teams to actually go and say, 
hey, let's go present this overall portfolio, overall capability, and drive that conversation with the customers is just really eye-opening for a lot of people. See, our biggest challenge uh, with the telco industry as we try to grow mm -hmm. is that the telco industry speaks telco. Yep. Right? The rest of the world, whether it's uh, agriculture, whether it's uh, medical science, whether it's mm -hmm. automotive, they don't speak telco. They speak their own language. That's right. Right? And you need to be able to reach that gap. Right. Right? And where that's where we're leveraging TMFs, 921 APIs, and I come up with intent-based MR. You've mm taken -hmm. intent significantly further uh, and bridging that gap between what uh, the other industries speak, okay. their language, and the top. And we are leveraging that as, as our infrastructure play that allows us to go across because again, Planet is not just a telco player, right? Granite goes across the multiple industry. So that helps us from creating that link, creating that abstraction, and ensuring, again, talking the same language, yep. making sure that we're actually working through that. Intent driven con uh, you know, architectures or networking conversation has been around for a little while. This is probably the first time you're actually showing something yep. to say, here's how it really works in a cloud environment. Yep. And coupled with that, automation will allow you to scale uh, to some very large environments. Really, thank you very much, Anir. It was a pleasure. Thank you for the invitation to be here. It's a yeah. pleasure talking to you. Same here. Thanks for your time. And once again, thanks for the ads. Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you.